Welcome to the fall term. This is CISP 360, Introduction to Structured Programming, and I will be your instructor this semester. My name is Stephanie Allen. So when you log into Canvas, this is what you will see. Each week I will post an announcement um, with any information that I want to share that week, as long, uh, along with what's due. Down here, um, you can see that I've laid out the entire semester. Each week, you will have content to uh, look at and review, and then you'll have um, work to complete. And work is always due on Sunday evenings. So if you go down here, you can see that each week is laid out. Right now on your calendar, make sure you've um, marked the dates for the midterm exams. And that will be on Tuesday, October 13th at 7 p.m. And you have 90 minutes to complete that. And the exams are proctored um, remotely. And you must have a webcam to participate. So that gives you several weeks, eight weeks, to get um, a webcam um, if you need to purchase one. And then our final exam will be on Tuesday, December 8th at 7 p.m. And you will also have 90 minutes. FLC wants you to be successful in this course, and if you are facing any challenges, um, like technology challenges, computer challenges, food or housing insecurities, please reach out um, to FLC. You can click on this uh, link right here, and there are links to resources uh, for you to use. There are also free online tutors available for this class. And so if you click on this link and you can click on the big purple button, schedule an online tutoring appointment, and it will connect you with a tutor. This class, there's a big learning curve. You're going from an introductory class to we end with link lists, which is an, an advanced topic. And you have to spend at least 12 hours per week on this course. And you have to really understand the first few weeks. This builds the foundation of what we'll be doing in future weeks. So spend the time in the beginning and it will pay off in the end. Okay, so when you, after you've kind of looked at the schedule, um, go ahead and look at the syllabus. It tells you exactly what we'll be doing and how I grade, and then the different policies for late work. And then it also lists everything that is due this semester. Okay, and then when you're ready to start the course, you'll click on modules, and then you'll just start at the first page read it and do anything that it's asking you to do, and then navigate through the content one page at a time. You'll read and sign the syllabus. Um, you'll introduce yourself on an introduction forum. And then this Q&A forum I'd like you to click on. And go ahead and subscribe. So if it's not green, go ahead and push it and then make sure it's green. That way you'll get notifications if anyone subscribe or anyone posts on the Q&A forum. And the reason you would want to get that is maybe you're having the same problem and someone posts about it and then there's a solution. Or maybe you know the answer and you can hop on and help that student out. Okay, and then so once you've navigated through that, you'll hop into week one. So each week has an overview, just the learning outcomes of the week and the things that you need to do for that week. And then each week has an assignment. And um, the assignment is in a Google Doc. So you'll just click on that and you'll follow the directions. And then you'll submit um, your file, your source code file. And each assignment also has a submission question. So when you hit submit, it'll give you a box where you can add a comment. And I want you to answer um, the question that I've included with each assignment in that comment uh, box of your submission. Okay, each question will be different for each uh, assignment. And then here's the rubric on how I will be grading um, you. So I don't accept work um, that doesn't run. But I do allow you to keep working on it until it does work. I don't give partial credit um, for work that doesn't even run. So 
what I recommend is turning your work in early and then I'll give you feedback and you can incorporate that feedback and keep resubmitting, resubmitting until you get full credit. Okay, it's, it's really important that you get all of the assignments done correctly before we move on to the next topic. Okay, I really need you to understand the concepts that are being covered in that assignment. So I do give you multiple times, as many times as you need um, to get it correct. But the caveat to that is that work is due on Sunday and you have to submit your work early before Sunday so that I have time to give you feedback and you can make the changes. Okay, and then when you've submitted your assignment, you'll have a quiz. And the quiz is open books, open notes, but you have to do your own work. It's not timed and you have only one attempt. And once you take this quiz, then it will unlock the next module. So if I go back to modules, we can see that week one is just about setting up your environment, right? Just getting comfortable with the course layout, um, getting to know maybe some of the students in the course. And then when you get to week two, that's when the content starts to appear. And how I do this is I have a lecture slideshow and then a lecture video that, that goes with the slideshow. So you have to open the slides and the video together. So either on dual monitors or split your screen or just have two tabs open, one with the slides and one with the video. Because when you're watching the video, I'll have you pause it and then do work on the slides. And this class is very collaborative. I'll ask you to write a program and then post that program on the slides for other people to look at and give feedback. And I will also be giving feedback. So you'll have um, uh, the introduction to computer science and then we'll introduce the C++ programming language during week two. You'll have an assignment and then a quiz. And then each week is exactly the same way. You'll have an overview, uh, slides and video, assignment and quiz. Okay, so that structure, after the first couple weeks, um, you'll get the hang of it. But what I do recommend is starting early. It's almost impossible to start your programming assignments on Sunday and have them working by Sunday evening. Uh, you'll run into little things that you can't figure out and that you need help on. And so you'll be, you know, either posting to the Q&A forum or emailing me. And so you want to start early so that you have an opportunity to get all that, you know, worked out before you submit it on Sunday evening. Okay, so start early, turn in often. So we talked about the discussions and then here's the link to the free tutoring. Um, if you want to schedule an appointment with me to meet online and walk through your code, I love doing that. So you just email me and then you would click on this link to connect with me. This is one of the environments that we're going to be using to write programs. It's called Replit. Um, I have short little three to five minute tutorial videos. So if you, you're struggling on some kind of concept, check out my videos to see if I can answer your questions there. Okay, so that is a brief introduction to the course. I hope you enjoy the course. It's a lot of work, but it's so rewarding when you get to the end and you look back at all the things that you've learned. And it's just amazing to be able to take a computer and an idea and turn it into something that actually works. Um, so I hope you love coding as much as I do. And again, um, please reach out with any questions. I'm here to help.